Hello boys and girls, Javon D here. I'm going to show you how to do a bulk dump of data from a musical instrument to your computer via its MIDI sequencing software. So if you haven't already, make sure you got your cables hooked up. Obviously, you can go from the 505 out to the interface in and I hooked up another cable going from the out of the interface to the MC505 in to test it. And uh, here we go. We're going to start a new session in Pro Tools. I don't really recommend Pro Tools, but just open up any old thing here. And I'm just going to name the session as MIDI. And uh, let's see. Here we go. Here we go. And uh, I'm going to resize this really quick. Get rid of this window. Okay, first things first, let's get rid of the stupid click track that they put in there. Get rid of that thing. Let's go up to track, new, and we're going to make this a MIDI track here. <laughs> Create, and up here in setup, go to MIDI. We're going to go to MIDI Studio Setup. We're going to create. And you can put whatever you want in here, like Kmart, Casio, or whatever. I'm just going to put in Roland MC505, and it really doesn't make a difference. But as long as you have your input port and your output port set to your computer's interface, you're all set. And uh, over here, I'm going to arm. Boom. Okay, that's ready to go. And over on the MC505, I'm going to go Shift, and I'm going to hit the number 16, which is the dump. One. I'm going to hit that a couple, a few times until it goes to bulk, all send. Okay, and I'm going to hit play on Pro Tools, and I'm going to hit enter. And over here, you can see it recording, but over here in regions, you want to scroll down to SysX, and you'll see that it's actually recording the system exclusive messages there. And uh, what I like to do, um, there, it stopped, so we can stop it. Up here in Setup, you can go to MIDI Input Filter, and if you're getting a bunch of MIDI messages, you can just go up to Record Only System Exclusive. That way you don't get like a ridiculous amount of messages coming in if you're playing a song or something. Okay, so you see that there? We're going to go to File, Export, MIDI. And I don't think any of this crap makes a difference. Let's go save it as a... That what's the song called? Pacific. Let's name it there. I'm gonna go in here and delete it right out of there. Bam. And I'm gonna show you that all you need now is just that little uh, Pacific MIDI file, and you can just drag it right back in there, and you should be good to go. So on the 505, I'm gonna hit Shift Dump number 16 I'm gonna hit it four times so it says bulk receive waiting so this is why we have that other um, cable hooked up so we can load it back in to your instrument over in the um, track area of Pro Tools you want to select your output this is very important otherwise it won't work you want to select your uh, studio setup to channel 1 MC505 so it's re waiting to receive we just hit play and there it goes. Now receiving the MIDI things flipping out. So something's working. Yay. Give it a second here. And that should work. Let's exit. Okay, cool. So now in the temporary area, you'll see that your song is now loaded. And we're just going to test it. Yeah. That crazy sound is how it's supposed to sound, so I'm stoked. So now it's in your temporary uh, area, and you can just save that to any uh, area in your in your MC505's memory. That way you don't have to use those super expensive 5-volt smart media cards that they're selling that are all weird and stuff. Anyways, that's it, folks. So um, I hope you liked the tutorial, and I hope it helps you, and I hope it saves you money. So sayonara. Take it easy.